Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform a uh, one-way ANOVA in SPSS. And specifically, it's a between-groups one-way ANOVA, which is to be contrasted with a within-subjects ANOVA, which is frequently called a repeated measures ANOVA. Uh, so in this tutorial, well, this video, I'm only going to be uh, talking about a one-way between groups ANOVA, which is probably the simplest ANOVA uh, that's um, around. The data I'm going to use for this example uh, are example data that you can find in SPSS, so you can do this analysis yourself if, if you got access to the uh, sample data. Um, I'll probably, maybe I should make a video as to how you can find these data, uh, how you can find sample data in SPSS. Uh, in this example, uh, my hypothesis is that um, three different groups of people who uh, work uh, differ in the amount of uh, money they earn. Uh, and what I've got is salary uh, as one uh, variable, which is a continuous variable or interval ratio variable, which is my dependent variable, and that's required for analysis of variance. Uh, the dependent variables measured on a continuous scale, so salary. And then the other variable, which is my independent variable, is measured on a nominal scale, or it's categorical in nature, and it's job category. And I can tell you that uh, the ones, if I go into variable uh, view, and I go job category, I've got um, number one is clerical, uh, is their job category, and number two is custodial, or what might be more frequently called maintenance um, today, and uh, third category is manager. And I suppose we would hypothesize that um, the managers earn uh, more money than clerical and custodial, but one question would be, well, do clerical, uh, do custodial, uh, does the custodial group earn more than the clerical group? Now, technically, a one-way analysis of variance is going to tell us that, uh, that level of specificity in answering the question. But it, what, what it will do is will tell us whether there's at least one difference between uh, the group means. And I'll talk about that more in a second. So to perform the one-way analysis of variance, you can actually do that two ways in SPSS. And each way has its own advantages. I'm going to do, do it first the most simple way and the most common way, uh, probably. Uh, you go into Analyze, Compare Means, and then One-Way ANOVA. And then you choose your dependent variable, uh, which is salary, and you put it into the dependent list. And then you uh, take employment category and put it into factor. OK, and then you go into options. And I choose descriptive, homogeneity variance test. I also choose Brown, uh, Brown Forsyth and Welsh test. And I'll talk about that briefly in a minute. And I also plot the means. What I don't choose is fixed and random effects, which is a totally different issue uh, and, and usually very rarely uh, applicable to, uh, to a, a, an, a, an actual data case. I'll just very briefly say that uh, ANOVA assumes that um, your effects uh, are just fixed effects uh, in the independent variable. Uh, and um, I guess what I'll, I'll do is I'll do another video on the difference between fixed and random effects. Uh, but you can assume that in 99% of cases, uh, your analysis corresponds to a fixed effects model. So you don't have to choose, you don't have to select this fixed and random effects uh, option. I'll leave it unselected. All right, click continue. I'm not going to do post hoc testing in this uh, video. Post hoc testing, I'll leave it for uh, another separate video. So I'll click OK. This is just the one way ANOVA. And let me minimize this window. Hopefully, I can do so. No, it's not really um, working with me here. All right, sorry about that. Okay. So what we've got first 
is the descriptive statistics. And we look at that, usually you have a hunch about what your means are going to look like, and you get the means and standard deviations. Those are probably the most important pieces of information here. We can see that clerical uh, p uh, employees earn 27,000, uh, 27, 28,000 rounded. I don't know how old these data are. These data could be 10, 15, 20 years old. I don't know. It's a sample data in SPSS. Uh, maintenance or custodial earn $31,000. Uh, 